it's time to push some buttons. Now, I'm going for a lovely drive right now today. I mean, look out outside. I'm passing a house right now. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's a very nice place. It happens to be a golf course, actually. I can't tell. It's a little uneven, but the point is, look at look at how beautiful it is out there. Look at the sky and some guy flying by me on a road that's 35 miles an hour and that was unexpected, but it's staying. He's staying in the video. The guy flying 70 miles an hour on a 35 mile an hour road. I caught you, man. I should say your license plate out loud. No, not worried about that. Anyway, there's more important issues right now. And this issue today is exposing what's going on. The truth about Corona, the truth about consciousness evolving. And I want people to understand this. You know, I'm not coming from a place where I'm wondering but at the same time, I understand that most people aren't going to be able to stomach this or handle this. But I think we deserve to know, okay? Now, this is uh, biological warfare, yes. But don't be mad at them for it. I mean, this goes back a couple levels, and I'll try to do it in a timely fashion. And I'll try to do it with some structure, okay? But let's say biological warfare okay I think the video out about Charles Lieberman and China developing the biological virus okay has been exposed I think enough people have seen it I'm not sure if it hasn't been taken down I I copied it and I put it out a couple times thank you Cheryl for sharing that um, anyway I want to say that okay from a very starting point everything that starts starts from a natural a natural element okay intention is a big deal let's say to create a virus you would have to molecularly tamper with things okay I'm not gonna get too big into it but they put it into something like water and shoot it in a vaccine so you know you keep your body clean and treat it with steam we're not gonna get too far into how you treat you know COVID-19 or whatever they call it this time. It's just a virus. No big deal. Well, your body's going to be able to handle it. No no problem. Just don't let them tell you it can and don't believe that it can and then it won't. So it's really important that you understand that if you walk around with a mask on being scared, you actually give yourself a chance of getting it. Say you get some kind of cold, you're going to be like, oh my God, it's that. And you can stress yourself out into a sickness. And that's what most people are doing. So anyway, why I'm saying don't be mad, okay? This is a plan that's been going on for a long time. Consciousness itself is evolving. This is nature's way of acting, okay? Now, you would say that people with some scheme or some plot to take out other people that aren't, in their eyes, useful, like obese people, older people, sick people, you know, lesser than, people that consider other people lesser than. Everyone's equal and has the same, same opportunity to live, no matter how they are, what they are, who they are, they deserve a chance. So, to sum this whole thing up, we just want to say, let's, let's compare it to something, see I'm trying to think of a good way to say it. Their intention is a good intention. To get rid of things that aren't useful, things that aren't happening, or things that are taking away from life and over-consuming, over-using, being negative, just not having having something to do. Like, there's people sitting around like lumps, doing nothing. Everybody wanted, okay, people that were working all the time, wanted to not work all the time. I wish I could spend my time at home with my kids. Well, now you can, and you're complaining about it. Kids, don't want to go to school. I wish I didn't have to go to school. I wish I could stay home and not go to school. You don't have to. And they're complaining about it. A change is always uncomfortable, no matter what it is. This is a change we want, and this is a chance for us to evolve and do something new with life, because we need to. I gotta say, this is not just my opinion. Everybody has probably been getting sick of how things are going. I know the older generation gets a little sick of the younger generation. The younger generation doesn't even know what they want because everything is push button and given to them. And boy, is it dark, and I'm sorry about the darkness, because but it's not really about that. The, the, the background view is more important anyway. It's, it's more lovely than me. So you can't be mad because, okay, the people have only been brought up the way they're brought up. Their, their parents and their ancestors taught them to do a certain thing because it was supposed to be better for them to keep the power. There are, there are powerful people and there are less powerful people. This isn't true, but in a way we allowed it to be. So I don't want to get too deep into that, but don't be mad at them because they were only trying to do something to help us. And in their view, it's like, 
some people have to die and like you know your body has to fight off its its negative blood cells or its negative viruses and bacterias so the good ones can thrive well that's their way of thinking they're doing it and it's all wrong they shouldn't be doing it that way and I agree with it not being right but at the same time I understand why they did it so I'm not mad about it they're just people with a plan to, in their way, they're thinking they're bettering things. Everybody is thinking that they're doing what they should be doing. Other countries fighting other countries think that their country is right, so that's why they're fighting. Our country thinks we're right, so that's why we're fighting. Problem is nobody's right when it comes to harming other people for some, any reason, any reason. So let's go to the next level, okay? Why did we have all this power and all this kind of stuff? Because at one point, if, if we just woke up, if we just, we're born and let go after we got to a certain age that we can walk, you know, and we didn't have any direction in life, what would people be right now? They'd be bumbling idiots. So we had to have some kind of structure and teach people stuff. But as time went on, that got boring and we wanted to do more. And creativity turned into activity. And I mean, there's just so many levels to it. I mean, I don't know how much I should include in this video because I know a lot more than it would seem some guy who looks like me knows. And for me to say it makes it seem bold and most people are like, oh, hey. the, the saying goes, he who says doesn't know and he who knows doesn't say. At one point that made sense because even he who said didn't know. And even who, he who knew didn't know how to say it. So they didn't. Now we have better ways to say it. And I'm not confused. I don't, I don't need to look into a book. I don't need to see scriptures. I don't need to ask Jesus, you know. Each one of us is the same as Jesus. But I don't want to go religious on this. I just want you guys to understand. Steam will get rid of the coronavirus, 100%. And aside from that, we need to ourselves start cleaning up the world. Or else the, the governments are trying to do that behind our backs. And then they want to, you know, now that it's obvious that it can actually be treated, they're keeping it that way so they can see what they want to do next. They're going to keep saying, wear your masks and be protected. And the people that are easily gullible are going to be like, why aren't you wearing masks? Why aren't you doing this? Today or yesterday, some lady asked me, why aren't you wearing a mask? It offends me that you don't. And I've seen commercials like that. And I'm like, you know what? Breathing out your air, your stale air into that mask and then breathing it back in where it can, you know, decompose basically. And you breathe it back in. You can actually get yourself sick from doing that. Fresh air is better for you. You know, don't be afraid of the people around you. You're causing your own problems by being afraid. So don't listen to them. And the people that are telling you that are governmental figures that are told to follow the script. You follow the script, we tell you what to do, and you do it, you know? Even doctors are starting to step out and say something, but everyone that does somehow gets covered up. We have to understand what's going on. Don't blame them for trying to siphon out and sift out people, but Start taking it upon ourselves to improve ourselves, okay? I love you guys, and I mean the best. I do have many ideas for what we can do and how we can go about structuring a new future. I do have many ideas. The problem is many people want a new future but have no idea what they would do. I do, and anybody who wants to work with somebody who loves us all unconditionally, please step out. I'm right here waiting. And I don't care if, if you think I'm just some bum, that's fine. You know, nobody is greater than anybody else. Money doesn't make an, uh, anything matter. You know, what you think is what happens. I could go on forever and I don't mean the tangent. I just have so much to say and I, I'm bottled up and it's all coming out at one moment. So I hope, I hope this helps. I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon. Stay healthy, be happy, and love everybody. Let's let's move. Let's let's do something. Let's turn this world into heaven. Okay? Peace, love, happiness, joy, health. Oh yeah. All right everybody. Have a great day every day. I love you. Peace.